And what sort of parts are you actually looking to manufacture? Any specific industries? Uh, mold and, and aerospace medical device manufacturing. Those are usually our, our core industries we focus on. IMTS 2022, we're at the Sodex stand and we're going to find out about their latest AM machine. Jim, you know all about this, but you've been doing this a little while, I understand. Yeah, since 2015 we've been uh, printing parts with the OPM and now for 2022 we have the LPM 325S. Okay, so come, our customers can come to you with complete confidence, you know what you're doing, you know what you're talking about in terms of AM. Oh, absolutely. We have a ton of experience, a ton of engineers working with this model. And new for 2022, we had expanded materials. So prior to this, we were printing in Inconel and stainless um, and uh, meraging steel. But now we have the ability to print in cobalt chrome, aluminum. So this, this is the new machine, yeah, printing new materials. Yeah, cobalt chrome, aluminum, and titanium. Well, that's some impressive stuff. Uh, but doing that, I mean, I want to print one material one day, one material the next day. Or how long is it going to take me to change? Well, prior to this model, it would take a couple of days to change materials because you cannot mix the powders. But now we have a new MRS unit and this system will change and completely move uh, the material in here. Right. And then you can actually just take off that box, slide in another one, change materials in six hours. Nice and simple. So essentially flushing the system out and like right. changing a printer cartridge almost. Like a cartridge, very similar, yes. We also mentioned another metal that's just coming out quite soon or uh, out already. No, it's out now. It was the titanium that is out right. and aluminum. Yes. So leading the market essentially. Absolutely. This machine is essentially sintering, so it's melting the powder with a laser. How powerful is that laser? Can you can you get expand that? Correct. So it is sintering. It lays down a bed of powder, sinters with a 500 watt laser, and you can expand that to add an additional 500 watt laser for a total of a thousand watts. Okay. So that's two lasers, two lasers, or just one laser. Correct. And you could get 50 cc's and build. 50 cc's an hour in your uh, build time. Okay, what size is the actual working envelope then? So you do some uh, plastic parts? Yeah, it's basically 10 cubed. So people are looking at this type of machine, what components are they going to be making? Uh, you know, something that you can't manufacture yourself, like in a conventional method, uh, conformal cooling, one-offs, uh, anything R&D. Anything on. Yeah. Okay, and also, I mean, a great example is your battery case, I understand, where it's got all sorts of complex yeah, cooling that, channels. Correct, the, yeah, that was very complex, very complex uh, cooling channels within that unit. Okay, now how easy is it to use this machine? I mean, I've invested in it, I've never used one before, I think it's probably a big investment to make first time, but how easy is it to use? Uh, it's, it's very easy. I, I think within three days we can get you up and running. There's a training program that Sodic offers and we support all of our customers with uh, in-depth training on the model. And with Sodic as well, I understand it's, you're manufacturing everything in the machine, so you've got complete control. Correct, yeah. Sodic doesn't outsource any of the parts. We, we make every component on that machine. And what sort of parts are you actually looking to manufacture? Any specific industries? Uh, mold and, and aerospace medical device manufacturing. Those are usually our, our core industries we focus on. Right. Now, these, these machines, they're not cheap, let's be honest. So I'm thinking about investing in one. Do I sort of, is there any way I could sort of dip my toe in the water? Well, we, uh, after IMTS, actually, we're starting uh, the 3D parts lab. So if you want to have some parts made before you decide to do this, uh, we'll make them for you. And, and then if everything works out, hopefully you buy a machine. And you'll buy a machine. Right. Okay, now I've manufactured some components, but I, I do need, because these, what sort of accuracy are these components going to? Uh, 20 microns, okay, so highly so, accurate. Okay, but you still yes. want to finish off, for example, maybe do a bit of milling on it. So what, how do you do that? Well, we have a shaper tool on here, so you can, uh, create a, a very precise uh, location for the, you know, to take it off and do sec secondary operations. Right, so you're getting that repeatability and absolutely. accuracy as you'd expect from a Sodic machine. Right, absolutely. There you go, Jim. Great little endorsement of the new Sodic machine, the AM machine. So if you want to dip your toe in the water, can I say, <laughs> get in contact with the guys to make sure they can use it. And let me confirm what, what are you calling it? Uh, the 3D Parts Lab. There you go. Jim, thank you very much. Thank you.